What is up guys, this is Kido back with another video on the Redmi K20 Pro and today in this video I'm gonna be showing you the latest Evolution XROM and how is it holding up. Well, I have been using it for about 2 to 3 days now and I would say the experience has been really really good. And if you notice the about section over here, if you go to the Android version, on top of course we have the Evolution X logo and here we have the Android version as Android 10 of course. And let me go back, the version is 4.1.69 still and the security patch is of March 5th 2020 and yes this is the March Madness official build. And here the stock kernel is Immensity kernel, the build date is 26th March 2020 which is the latest build as of right now. Let me go back to the system, we have the system updater over here, you can check for updates. But let me talk about the flashing first. Well I have flashed with the like Orange Fox recovery, the latest Orange Fox recovery I have used. And here I have flashed the ROM with the fcrypt disabler because my storage is decrypted. If your storage is encrypted and your TWRP or the Orange Fox recovery asks for password, you need to keep in mind that you do not need the fcrypt disabler. But if your Orange Fox recovery does not like ask for password, then you need the fcrypt disabler to flash the ROM. And I have wiped cache Dalvik system data because I was on a different ROM and then I flashed the latest build and it worked pretty great. And if you are still on the Evolution X ROM like the older builds, if you want to update, you just need to like flash the latest build and fcrypt disabler and reboot. If you are on the same ROM, you do not need to wipe anything else. Now to the left of the like home screen we have the Google Now cards and here the stock launcher is the pixel launcher let me show you here is how the settings of the launcher looks like and over here the app drawer and stuff is pretty fast and one thing that I want to show you here is that yes I have changed the refresh rate over here on this ROM and as you can see the FPS of the display right now is 72 FPS or it is 72 Hertz. And yes, I have like tried it earlier. The 72 Hz mod on the Android Q based ROMs was not really working. It was stuttery and stuff. But right now it is totally fixed and it has been working totally fine with this ROM and everything like the, if you're noticing these animations, yes, this is a 30 FPS video. So you cannot really differentiate, but yeah, I can totally differentiate about the smoothness of the ROM and everything feels buttery smooth over here with the 72 Hz mod. And if you want to see the display refresh rate from the like IRA64 over here and as you can see the refresh rate is 72 Hertz and I have did a separate video about flashing this like display mods and if you have not watched that video here is a card you just need to keep in mind that you need this 72 Hertz refresh rate mod for Android Q because the ROM is based on Android 10 or Android Q the like 81 Hertz mod was just for Android Pi so those things do not work now the maximum you can try on Android Q is 72 Hz mod and it is really simple you just need to back up the stock DTBO and then you just flash the 72 Hz mod with Orange Fox recovery that is a simple image file you just flash that as DTBO file and then you just reboot and you have the 72 FPS or 72 Hz mod so everything over here on the UI seems pretty smooth with the 72 Hz mod I have no complaints regarding this like refresh rate mod now let me show you the fingerprint scanner speed over here Unlocked, did not unlock, now it did. Well, I would say one thing that with the 60 Hz mod, the fingerprint scanner works a lot better. Now, if you compare the 60 Hz and 72 Hz mod, the fingerprint scanner is a little bit weird with the 72 Hz mod. Sometimes it does not work and as you can see, sometimes it does. Right now, I do have the 72 Hz mod, so it is like kind of unlocking in like two tries mostly. I would say the like fingerprint scanner will be 5 to 6 percent bad when compared to the 60 Hz mod but most of the time I would say even with the 72 Hz mod I can totally use the fingerprint scanner and it is totally fine like from the lock screen it is totally fine but from the always on display sometimes you need to try to unlock the device so that's kind of weird but yeah it is totally working like as of right now at least for me now in the settings panel of course you find the evolver this is the customization section of this ROM and you get bunch of customizations of course like I showed you already there is nothing much that I can show you now because I have shown this customization section multiple times you can check my other Evolution X ROM videos you can like totally see what else is inside now let me quickly show you some things which I like over here that is this recognizing animation you can change to like these many there are plethora of options for this recognizing animation of the fingerprint scanner and then we have the like color changing option of the pressed icon color light 
then we have the icon customizer from here you can customize and choose whatever icons you need so that is really really great and here some things that i have been noticing is that notification led on top of the device on the camera does work while charging so it was a bug earlier but right now it is working totally fine on the like front camera led and even let me show you this front camera led does work super fine there is no sound right now because i have like turned it off let me show you with the front camera led you can like set a sound from here i have it disabled so it did not make a sound but you can choose these sounds if you want to have that sound while you are opening the front camera and stuff now let me go back the stock camera again is the anx camera and the vlog mode and stuff everything is working you don't need to worry we also have the 960 fps slow mo and you can also shoot like 4k 60 fps up to 4k 60 fps over here as you can see the option is there and you can like switch between the cameras of course the wide angle and the telephoto lens everything is working fine here not a problem and google pay works right out of the box you do not need to worry and i have also installed the google camera 7 this has been working totally fine we even have this google awb and stuff and then the night sight with the google camera is working fine i have installed it the google camera separately if you haven't seen this google camera video here is a card for you i would say the rom has been like totally great for me and i have been enjoying the rom the battery life is the most interesting part over here and here as you can see i have got about two and a half hours of screen on time right now with 79 percent juice left or you can say that like with 20 percent juice it almost gave me two and a half hours of screen on time which is really really amazing even with the 72 hertz mod but this is a screenshot as you can see from here this was when i was using the 60 hertz but i still got eight plus hours of screen on time so i have no complaints about the battery life over here on this rom the rom's battery life should be really really great we also have the adaptive battery and settings and stuff and the 18 watt fast charging is working flawlessly no issues and in the display settings you have the lock screen display and stuff always on displays there and the always on display does work super fine that's not a problem and we also get the live wallpapers over here as you can see there are plenty of options for the live wallpapers you can download any of them and use them as you like and in the sound settings we do have the me sound enhancer and this me audio dirac is working flawlessly not a problem here and the sound output via the headphone jack and bluetooth as well is amazing over here no issues at all and in terms of the swipe to screenshot gesture as you can see this is the oxygen waste kind of screenshot gesture this is working totally fine and i have been noticing some animations are like 0.5x or something by default over here on this rom and with the developer option you can see this animator duration scale is like 0.5x others like window animation and transition animations are 1x so yeah and in the gestures we do find this gesture navigation and from here you can hide the pill over here if you want to and you can also use the two and three button navigation too if you need those and of course double tap to sleep double tap to wake everything is working and in terms of accent color customization you can choose whatever accent colors you need from here and there is the header image or something if you want to have a header image now in the status bar we have the clock option and stuff you can customize the clock however you want and the status bar item shows the headset bluetooth etc icon over here on the status bar and the status bar logo is there for the evolution x logo if you want it to show up and the vaulty icons are there you can choose between these many vaulty icons as you can see there are a plethora of options for even the vaulty icons so no problems at all and also this like edge lighting option is there you can also change the edge lighting color from here not a problem the edge lighting works super fine with like new notifications and stuff and you can also adjust the ambient display brightness that is really really great and this advanced reboot is there let me show you if you tap on advanced you can directly reboot to recovery or fast boot so that is a really great thing and of course we can change the screen of animation to crt or scale or the default one and you can change whole ui animation from here in terms of pubg of course you can play on hdr and extreme settings no issues at all here is the android score that i got i would say like you can definitely flash this evolution x rom as your daily driver for me it has been really really great experience to use this evolution x rom as my daily driver on the redmi k20 pro let me know in the comments what do you guys think thank you so much for watching this video guys give it a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe to the channel down there if you have not yet this is tiro from kdn tech signing off for today and i'll be catching you guys in the next one bye bye now